Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have four very unusual and different items to show you in the coin realm. I say in the coin realm because this first thing is actually not a coin, and the second thing is also actually not a coin, but let me show these to you, and then we're going to get into something that's really kind of cool in the coin world. Uh, first of all, this big hunky piece of metal here with a beautiful dragon on one side is a private issue and I've talked before about how I think some of these private issues have some long-term upside they have helped to create their own collector market um, right there we go we got a little bit of Latin I almost said Italian right I guess that's pretty close but that's something a little bit different and right here on the knuckles it's labeled Two ounce, nine nine nine, fine silver. Is this a matter of? It is a matter of choice. Destiny is not a matter of chance. And so the details on this is really pretty cool. And you know, from his helmet to we got a ship in the in the background here. Detail, detail, more writing. Um, and, you know, more and more guys are collecting stuff like this, even though it's not a coin. And uh, they do seem to trade at, at premiums to the ounce. So in other words, um, instead of just being a coin that trades for 50 or $60, you know, you'll see them at 75 or more on stuff like that. And then this guy here, so, this is a fake dollar uh, love token, right? So, so this is made to look like a Morgan dollar, but it is F A K E fake. It is struck this way, and then you know it's made to look like oh, there's the date, and it's over the date, and it's been turned into a dragon which would be fun and I have seen coins where they take the entire coin and they shave it down and they carve something different onto it and if this were that this would be super super cool but these are just being manufactured which means that you can probably just buy them you know from China for a couple bucks right so on to uh, two modern coins that are from foreign countries that are pretty fabulous we're going to talk a little bit about the different processes that they're going into making these um, this Australia at night series this is the uh, echidna I kid you not and it has a proof they ca actually call it a black proof so the background has this blackened finish to it and this little mammal is also known as a, a spiny anteater and you know he looks a little bit like a porcupine and a little known fact there, Sammy, along with the platypus, one of only two mammals that lays eggs. By the way, I did not know that before I was getting this video put together. Um, you know, I, I had always uh, thought that the platypus was the only mammal that laid eggs. So, all right, uh, really quite a lovely structure that they have here. Now there were these coins, um, there was a company that was plating silver eagles with this black finish a few years back and they were selling at high premiums even though they're an aftermarket product. And I'm assuming this is kind of the same process that they're using. But as we've talked about before with modern stuff, you know, you've got what, what they're doing now with two, three, four tones, you're starting to see really uh, the ability to turn a coin into multi dimensions just with the use of three or four tones of silver and by the way I learned something else new this week when I was looking up this coin I've seen tens of thousands of Australian coins with echidnas on them you guys know what it is of course this is actually from the island country of Nui by the way but uh, they're five cent piece Look at this. All this time, because I never noticed really the, the little duckbill style looking thing on the front. All this time I thought this was like a hedgehog. I'm like, oh, I've seen hedgehogs before. They're cute, right? 
That's an echidna. Look at that. All right, last but not least, we have a series uh, known as the dot art series. Now this is gonna make a lot of you angry. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna coin trigger people right now. And uh, that's because this piece has, of course, coloration to it. I guess some of you guys are upset about things not being traditional, but um, I will say, there we go, this is actually how it goes. The tree of life, because you know the leaves go on top and the roots go on the bottom. And they have this series from Palau that is known as the dot art series here. And it's really, the reverse here is really cool, or the obverse, whichever side, the side with just the silver on it and no, no coloration, uh, you know, because you've got your little Islander in the boat, Neptune, you know, it's, it's a funny mixture of things. See, this is the traditional, but I guarantee you the people in the island of Palau didn't like believe in Neptune, right? That's like a probably a different thing. So it's. The combination of the cultures that are there and, you know, the work of the dots is actually pretty cool on this side. Then on the other side, you know, you have all this real fine dot work and each one is colored. And the, the way this one looks like it's made is actually looks like it's one overlay that is, that is probably adhered to the metal. I mean, it just, to me, that's what it looks like they did instead of like hand painting or something like that. It looks like one piece of vinyl that's been adhered. Now, I don't know the striking, pro pro the production process of this exactly. I just know enough about the creation of signs and vinyl to be dangerous because it doesn't look like it's been hand painted. Now, this is a three ounce piece. I need to get back to the echidna really quick because one of the things I didn't cover is their production rate because I'm going to tell you about on this coin so I better get back to the echidna really quick. That coin one ounce of silver black proof only a thousand and actually they have the ser serial number for the cert but not on the coin only a thousand but the the coin trades for I think about a hundred bucks or so so it's not super expensive for a coin with a mintage of a thousand and one thing that I want to show you about these that I find interesting these certificates here versus the U.S. You know, have you ever noticed how in the U.S. that you know they they make a big deal out of um, first of all the law was passed under and this is traditional, right? They just say uh, you know this was passed by such and such law, and then they also take the time to uh, you know mention who the designers are, so. They didn't do that here. So this this coin, you see that? Oh, they only made 333 of these. This is almost the last one. It would have been cool if it was number 333. Uh, so this is also from 2020. It's a three ounce piece of silver. They also mentioned, by the way, that it's a black proof. And so talk, talk about supply and demand, right? Your supply on this is extremely limited and yet you know, these trade for a few hundred dollars, which is not much when you consider there's only 333 of them available. And apparently every last one of them is on eBay right now, because as I looked to find out more about these, there, there was a bunch of them up there and uh, available. And that seems to be kind of the going rate. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think of some of the new designs here and some of the technology that other countries are putting into their collector coins. Would you like to see them on ours? I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.